We're working with deep biological imprints that have visceral qualities to them. This work is not a quick fix, A, eh? and it ain't all fuzzy kittens and peaches and roses and sunshine, rainbows. Toxic shame or working with shame means you're essentially working with an individual who sees themselves as bad meat, bad meat. She said, you have to be willing to smell and taste the dead rat, the dead rat. You need to be willing to smell and taste the dead rat. We think that we are bad meat, bad meat. That quality in us is a sense of disgust. Disgust is a primary human mammalian emotion. It is the sense of something isn't right, something's gone off. Disgust will be transferred in us when we have been ridiculed, when we have been toxically shamed. We need to build and grow the capacity to be able to feel this disgust that we have for ourselves. We have to build foundation and capacity so that we can be with intensity, intensity. And we have to be willing to smell and taste and be with all the bad stuff that we push down. When you feel this desire to dry heave or you feel a little bit of a disgust in your system tapped into toxic shame. How do we heal toxic shame? First of all, we need to understand what it means. So what toxic shame is, this quality that we feel that we are bad meat, that we are damaged goods. The first thing, building foundations, build capacity, grow that capacity to be with all of the sensations that we have in our system. And that for good reason, you stuff that stuff inside and now it's coming out and up. And then the next piece is knowing that when we do go on this path, it's gonna feel a little gross and a little yucky and it might taste and smell like a dead rat. That is what we're dealing with at these deep toxic shame levels. You need to be willing to smell and taste the dead rat, the dead rat. 